Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kill Dyke, and hope you guys are all having a great day. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick recap of everything going on in the RetroPie community on the Raspberry Pi 4. If you guys have been following my channel for some time, a few weeks ago I debuted the ability to run three front ends on the RetroPie. I believe that's actually the first time you can do that. And in addition to that, you had uh, the Attract Mode feature finally added, and you also had Pegasus and Emulation Station, as well as a few other tweaks and things that you guys would appreciate in the community. Well, as of yesterday, WDG messaged me, uh, the Supreme Team is coming out with a script or a installation uh, app that will allow you to eventually add a track mode itself to any build you currently have. Uh, this will work on any of the Supreme builds, starting with Supreme Beta 4, Duo, Pro, and uh, a few others that have been released and that they are releasing in the future. Now this won't work on Supreme Beta 2. They had a different method of installation uh, back when it was released back in uh, August or September of last year. Uh, of course, it is still in a beta, but I just want to show you guys exactly how it works and everything you guys can do to go ahead and get it working. Um, as you guys currently see, I am using a version of Supreme Pro uh, that you guys are familiar with. If you guys aren't, uh, this is the one that Wolf and those 256 gigabyte build is based on. And of course, this is the one that my Venom build is based on as well. So as you guys can currently see, there is no option on it right now to, um, uh, to launch an additional front end. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what you can do once this is finally unveiled to the, Repub uh, to the public, rather, uh, where you can get an additional front end added to your current build. So that way you guys don't have to download or reinstall any ROMs to another build. So let's go ahead and get into that. And also I do want to mention that there were some broken emulators and things that was released on the new update for 4.6. So again guys, this is RetroPie 4.6. It has been fully updated to work with uh, a lot of the newer builds uh, that's coming out. So uh, this is Supreme Pro that has upgraded to 4.6. So I want to show you guys that this is working. Um, if you guys haven't tried RetroPie 4.6, there were some emulators that weren't working such as Mass and also MAME, the official version. But I believe that uh, the, all of that has been fixed with any of the newer Supreme builds. And of course you guys may see that as well on the newer uh, RetroPie 4.6 build as well. And so once again, we are here on Supreme Pro. I'm gonna to go to the options menu. And as you can see now, you do have a new option available. So if you guys saw my last video, uh, where I did the one with the coin ops, the Pegasus, and also a track mode uh, emulation station, uh, with all the new options, if you go to option, you will see a new option called front end selector. So once you click on this, you'll be given the option of going to either a track mode or emulation station. And now you can boot to a track mode. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a track. All right, and there you guys have it. This is the attract mode on the uh, Supreme Pro build. This is for RetroPie 4.6. I believe this version is called 4.61. I believe because um, after the uh, RetroPie team released 4.6, uh, they did have RetroPie 4.61 or something of that nature. You guys can look it up and research it. So anyway, uh, here you guys have it. You do have a track mode on the RetroPie uh, on the Supreme Pro build. I'm gonna show you guys just a few of the options. You guys are already familiar with these. So again, you do have that option to uh, boot to the uh, front end. All right, so here we are, we're still in the track mode and you do have the option again to boot to the uh, new front end. Now I haven't loaded anything else on here. I haven't loaded any additional themes. I have not loaded any games. Just wanted to bring you guys this information that this is possible, uh, that you can update any RetroPie build as long as it's RetroPie Beta 4, Duo, Supreme Pro. Um, uh, right now, I do know when this releases, it'll be exclusive to Supreme builds, but after that, it will be available to all RetroPie builds. 
uh, if you guys want to uh, add a track mode. So um, there's also some other benefits to this as well as I was playing around with this a little earlier. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Uh, you guys have already seen just a little bit of it. So let's go ahead here. I'm gonna switch over to my cell phone now because obviously I can't screen record this. So we're gonna switch. So for those of you who are already familiar with the track mode, um, a track mode is dual screen capable. Um, I obviously, I had to switch over my phone. I can't screen capture it. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable one of the features right now. So you guys can pick your front end. And as you see that um, even with the uh, track mode feature and some of the features on the new base, it does enable uh, split screen functionality. And of course, uh, enables the second monitor to be active. Now I'm still playing around with certain features myself as far as actually gaming and there is a little bit more to uh, gaming in dual mode or dual screen mode to make it capable. But just wanted to show you guys uh, what the RetroPie or the Pi 4 is fully capable of doing as of today. So now you can go ahead and add a track mode to any build. Again, this is gonna start off with the Supreme images first and then it'll be moved over to some of the other images at a later date. Um, I don't have an official release date as of right now, but um, yeah, you guys can go ahead and start dual screening some of your games and some of your features with RetroPie through a track mode. And if I go into tab here, you have some additional options. Uh, you can select your display. Uh, let's go back to display menu. Actually, it's not this one. Let's go back to general. Uh, you do have a windows mode, you have show display. So these are, these are some of the options that comes included with a track mode. Nothing's really uh, changed at all, but you can either boot this into windows or uh, full screen, full screen, no border. So this is the information that I have uh, wanted to present to you guys today to let you guys know the advancements of RetroPie and what's coming out uh, in the near future. So I expect some big things. Uh, again, this is still being tested so you guys can see what you guys can do uh, with the RetroPie. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fully reboot this because I believe it does. Uh, exit track mode, yes. And I'll type in station. All right, so there you guys have it. Uh, you have a new Pi 4 uh, base that will be coming out. You have some additional options that will be coming out as well. So uh, stay tuned to the channel. I'll keep you guys updated as far as when I get some more information and play around with this uh, a little bit more. So um, you will have possibly dual screen capability. There is a, a few more tweaks that needs to be added there, but yes, you can add a track mode to your current image. Uh, again, guys, this is Keel Dyke, and just wanted to keep you guys updated in all retro gaming news, and I'll catch you guys next time.